This probably is the weirdest art supply that I ever had on my desk. If you're wondering what's that, here are some leftovers from the projects that I've painted. Washi tape, masking tape with some gorgeousness colors on them. Here are the actual projects if you're wondering. I have been putting tape all around and if you wonder about these paintings you can check my other YouTube channel Marami Simple Craft. Please check it out. What are we gonna do with these? I would love to use them today. Use what you have, use leftovers, use some trash. Why not? I have been keeping those because I really really wanted to use them. Let's try to <laughs> unpack that somehow and even if it's not gonna help, uh, even if it's not gonna work that's okay uh, even if they're gonna rip. Now I have been uh, thinking to use this old book we've done some gorgeousness projects already and I have been using uh, dry pastels in those and I have some absolutely amazing looking dry pastels from Artex. These are brand new dry pastels. We will be using them, testing them out. I never tried them before so it's gonna be very exciting to see how those are. Now my question is Marta, what's the plan for this page? And honestly I have zero plan. I'm just thinking that I really would love to <laughs> use these paints. I would love to create a gorgeous background with these colors, some textury thing and then finish it off with those pastels. I think it's gonna be just fantastic. It's not that easy to get these out from the bunch but that's okay. Now this is a kind of an idea as well for you to create your own washi tape isn't it? Because these masking tapes are fantastic looking as <laughs> Come on, I can't rip it as your ma as your washi tape. Now let's. To be very honest, when I was putting them on the side, I wasn't too sure whether I'm gonna use them or not. I wasn't. I I didn't plan a project back then because if I have planned the project, I would probably keep them uh, in a nicer condition. Do you know what? I can't. I can't sort of. Uh, make it straight but that's okay because I'm I'm happy with how things are okay they're not maybe gluing down too well so that's probably the only thing oh do you know what maybe I'm gonna do it like that and I'm gonna keep only the parts that really do stick to my page now some colors are gorgeousness isn't it I would love you to think about your supplies in a different way instead of throwing things away uh, just try to see if you can use them however don't be a hoarder don't hoard hundreds of cardboards and leftovers and things but like these tapes honestly the amount of the amount of um, dirt let's call it which is the paint on it it's very little to be honest so it's gonna be it would be a waste really not to use it and i already love how it looks now I need to grab some. We will be using some of the, oops, we will be using some of the gesso as well, white gesso possibly, clear gesso possibly as well on that. Now, there you go. I, oh, I hope to, <laughs> I hope you will find it inspirational enough to look around and see what can be used as your background. This is gonna be quite abstract, but I'm excited for it very much, I have to say. It's already so gorgeous and it's so random, isn't it? Now, it is really difficult. I thought it's easier, but I think the more I rip, <laughs> the harder it gets. I should be probably more gentle about it, but oh well. <laughs> oh well, look at this gorgeousness color scheme. No. <laughs> there we go. How pretty is that? Oh, I love these colors. Color combo. Oopsie. Plenty of greens. There you go. I honestly have zero plan for this page. I'm just having a vision and that's it. A vision, no plan. 
a texture I would love to achieve a color and use really use the leftover use the rubbish use the things that normally would end up in the bin I wonder do you ever keep these tapes did you ever keep them for future projects did you think about it did you keep them or did you put them away somewhere did you put it into the bin and then decide oh I'm gonna use them oh I love it I wonder let me let me know please some of them just don't stick because they are glue on top of each other now this is gorge color gorge gorge gorgeous so color yellow mm -hmm. wow <laughs> I think it's gonna be also the beauty of that page it's gonna be because of how irregular the tape is love that no maybe like here so this will hold wow love this I think it's getting <laughs> more and more difficult to have anything. Oh no, it's really getting harder and harder. Because the more I pull, the more it sticks and all. <laughs> okay, I think this is gonna be our last really trial. No, probably no, <laughs> not even. Maybe here. But even the way as it looks right now, it is super pretty. Oops, no. I think... I think that's kind of the shit. Oh, some washi tape. Ooh. I read a lot. A lot, a lot. We can put some here. Maybe here. Maybe here, uh, I think it's more like a sky or something. Oops. Let's grab some clear gesso and let's go over on our page in places. Well, not in places, pretty much everywhere, I think. We're gonna prime our project and this way, this will allow us to start working with mediums and see how are the dry pastels are gonna be uh, this is totally not sticking so I may just oh there we go just do this oh that's better we're gonna be building our background with color even more and I think I'm gonna jump in a little bit with white gesso and I'm gonna just go over in few places just to see if I can have a little bit of a play with where the color meets at the well where there is like a mixture of colors in between and maybe the white will kind of blend in and help it up I don't know I'm just feeling that this white could be a great addition to this project right now just a little bit and maybe here as well for the contrast and here even more there we go and let's try that so let's try to do a little bit of green grass sort of thing I know we have a mixture of different colors but let's grab some greens let's have a mixture of different colors and also how about painting a field of flowers or something I don't know just the only thing is that I'm gonna swap I'm gonna get rid of this one I know what you're gonna say I'm changing my mind because I'm thinking that this is great because no I'm gonna leave this one sorry because I'm thinking to do a little bit of blue you know 
a little bit of blue, a little bit of sky sort of colors. And here, oh wow, that is gorgeous. Now we have different colors, so we can mix with blues and greens. Okay, so we have sort of sky. <laughs> Let's work on some sort of um, some kind of field. How about maybe some flowers we have some red and white and let's let's do a little bit of white in places where it's possible and how about a little bit of red oh I think with the pastels you you have to be quite careful how much pigment you're adding. Obviously, I'm a complete beginner here, which is okay, no harm to try it out. But you need to give yourself a chance to play and find out about this medium, I think. And that's what I'm hoping to do, to really figure out about this medium. I think I'm going to be adding less pigment because these are hugely, hugely pigmented, you know. So what I will do is I'm going to grab some orange maybe now. I'm sorry for not saying much, <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, enjoy the process of discovering these gorgeousness pastels, I have to say I am <laughs> loving that, loving that. Mm, I think we could have a little bit of black, that's like poppies nearly. That is so pretty. That is so pretty already. And I'm thinking to do. Oops. Aww. I'm just thinking. Yeah. We can clean if something is not right, right? <laughs> if we wish to learn and just experiment, we can just
Oops. Oops. I think some red in the grass can be as well okay because you know if it's a field then obviously our our flowers are not as um, on not only big we have also some smaller smaller flowers in the mix here on the on our field I think it's a field of poppies oh, I love them Wow I really love I have to say this <laughs> <laughs> this is quite interesting to witness the dirt on our finger and all. That's okay too, I guess. <laughs> hmm. I love that! Oops, I'm just trying to think if we can do a little bit of wipe off. I don't know if it's even allowed <laughs> um, in the techniques of dry pastels. Is it allowed to just clean it off if you fancy it? If you feel like, you know. This is a medium that I definitely wish to discover more. These are gorgeous. The pigment in them. I wonder. We probably could make custom paste with these. We probably could do um, some paints with it. Paste paints. We probably could work on a grey color, on white, on brown cardstock. I think these are so versatile and the pigmentation is crazy. Wow. Uh, I'm thinking to add even more yellow. The interesting start, right? <laughs> that was that was an interesting start with the um, with those tapes, and we have a field of poppies. Like who would thought? right <laughs> okay i'm gonna put the greens back on just for now just to see clean my fingers clean my hands and i'm thinking to grab white and just oh i love that with that white here to just oh, this is sort of <laughs> this is not gluing them but I'm gonna help it out with my glue because I wish to keep this one here come on you have to you have to be sticky now whoops okay maybe now I think what's beautiful about the pastels is that uh, all these like reds and blue like everything can go into the background sort of thing if you know what I mean wow I love the blending oh wow so dreamy right this is so dreamy I love that Oh wow, 
so so pretty. I am not an expert with the dry pastels and the pages I've done so far were completely different to this one um, and I have been more working with the pigment color as a background rather than the actual painting I love it okay now if you fancy checking Artex, they are so affordable, they are great price for what they are. I have no knowledge and you know that I'm not making sort of a comparison because my knowledge is limited. And when Artex sent me those to try, I was like, absolutely, I would love to try them out. So please have a look for yourself. I'll give you links if you fancy checking them out. I think they are beautiful I'm super happy with just experimenting here and just trying to oh I love this green color now uh, for now I'm I love experimenting and just having a chance to to play and see about um, how can I actually enjoy a little bit of fun and play like that without much of techniques and stuff it's just really having fun and enjoying the process of you know discovery I like that by the way Artex not only has they have amazing gouaches so check the gouaches as well watercolor gouaches they have these gouaches so you need to check them out um, I have them as well and I <laughs> I really love them, yes. No. Wow. I'm still I'm still thinking that I'm still thinking it would be fabulous if I could have even more of that dark. I'm just not sure how can I keep this even darker. Am I blending it just too much? Uh, if you have any knowledge of the dry pastels, guys, leave me leave me and others a comment down below. I'm sure we all would love to hear a little bit of uh, dry pastel knowledge. Honestly, I haven't been watching videos at all about pastels, just not to get too much of an idea and I just really wanted to try it for myself and just to see the journey that it's gonna take us, you know? So if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear now, probably because they dry the best to settle them would be to have uh, maybe um, hair, hair spray or something, my guess is. I love that. I do need to tidy, tidy up my fingers so I can actually really play along. I love that you can go with the color and just, you know, they go there, further from your design, that it's so dreamy and sh like it can just oh, go to the sky, even like this, and it's gonna be fine, you know, it's just a different sort of, I don't know, it's a different sort of um, painting with these dry pastels, I like that, you know. Then you can take white and if you feel it's too much, you can just help it out. And I love the dreamy feel in here. Totally amazing, like. Oops, they were, they're not that super soft but they are soft, like I know that there are different softness of pastels these are soft but they're not crazy soft which I think it's nice I'm having so much fun I really love that now wow Mm -hmm. 
that green it's gorgeous just let me know do you work with dry pastas is this something that you know of you love using what's your story with dry pastas i'm afraid of them because i have been afraid of them for <laughs> four years and i have been slowly experimenting and i i really truly enjoy using them it's not something i have knowledge of but i'm enjoying the process of what's going on here oh oh i love that effect oh i love this so for this sort of i i, I totally love that so do you know what i'm so proud that we have made this painting drawing together that it is very organic and i love that i'm quite proud oh how about a little bit of orange addition in places maybe I really love that. Still thinking of more yellow inside. Oh wow. And what about a little bit of white? Going like this. Oh, if you gentle with it, it's like you can really, you don't have to smoosh it and, and be crazy drawing uh, with the smooshed pigment. You can just have a little bit of gentle play, Marta. There we go. <laughs> gentle play. I totally love them. I, ha I have to say one thing. It's amazing. The box. The look of them it's so beautiful looking it's very professional I have to say I wasn't uh, sure what to expect and when they arrived I was like what these are gorgeous looking I have to say um, so yeah I love that they have these names on like they like imprint or something in here some of them are in print some of them are text um, black some of them are black some of them are not it's interesting no they all in print I think some of them just have black color some of them are not but they all you can touchy touchy them I just I like I mean seriously look at this gorgeousness I love how they present and they had this I never showed you it but I will and they have this um, card so you know the names you can check this out which is really nice touch and if you like to have a swatch and the names and the numbers that's great and I never showed you the gorgeousness box look at that it's so pretty soft pastas from Artex um, excellent coloring effect I really love the beautiful box now you know like we love pretty supplies as well have a run with white like let's say in here firstly I'm gonna clean off oh there we go so a little bit of a contrast maybe you know me and the white I like I love playing with white so maybe a little bit of that play it's just always this fear that you go too much and you just you're gonna destroy what you worked so hard and not worked hard but you know what I mean I, I think I'm gonna call this one finished and done because I, I really love what I see it is just a tiny tiny bit of uh, worry that I'm gonna just go too much or something because I think it is gorgeousness you know oh we have another little puppies <laughs> how cute is that I love that now we have a huge mess on our hands that's okay and also we have oh there we go whoops I absolutely adore this now we're gonna be probably I probably will have to spray that with the hairspray which I will gladly do I would love to hear from you I really would love you to tell me what do you think how do you like that dry pastels did you hear about Artex dry pastels will you check them out please go and check them out maybe this is something in your wish list and you were always about to try it out why not to and um, let me know what do you think about my skills for painting 
and uh, for the puppies I love them honestly I think these are super cute I'm very proud of it honestly I'm very proud of this page my beautiful friends I'm gonna wrap up at that thank you so very much for watching for being here for allowing me to experiment in front of your eyes because we are learning things together and I'm so proud of that I already miss you hugely you have no idea uh, but I promise to be back sooner than you think happy crafting happy painting stay safe and healthy be smiley and mind yourself and your loved ones till the next time bye